Hello everyone and welcome to Caroline's Craft Tree and we have week 36 of the CCT 52 challenge. It's never too late to start this whether you want to start at number one or start from 36 or do it next year or whatever, whenever you like. But do remember to, if you're doing it this year, enter some pictures into the Facebook group under the post that I made for a chance to win a digital kit. So this week we have file folder, seam binding, C, T cards, and gnomes. Now I'm going to do my project. I'm doing putting all my 52 challenges in this big, huge gator mouth journal. But today, we are going to cover this page right here. So set that aside. We don't need it right now. So I have a piece of file folder. I cornered the edges. I've got my tea cards. These are from my mushroom tea card set. I have gnome, I have more gnomes, and I got some seam binding and a few other little goodies that I'm going to use, and I have my C. Let's get started. We're going to set this aside because we don't need it right now. We are mostly going to work on this, which we're going to make it into a journal card. Let's, I'm going to use art glitter glue. Now I have inked all my edges of everything, I hope. I usually end up missing something. Pick off my glue there. Okay, so we got some art glitter glue. Let's start by putting on this napkin. And these can be a bit of a pain to glue down because there's so many edges and spots. And we do want it to be glued down fairly well. So I'm just going to put glue kind of on the wider spots of it. And let's just set that... I kind of want it in the middle. So there is that part. Make sure all the edges are glued down. I need a bit more. I need a bit more glue right in here. Okay, now we're going to turn it over and we are going to glue the back the back of the card so let's get all this glued up I have so many paper doilies and I just I forget to use them I, I think sometimes when we get so much stuff we just lose track or I do and sometimes I know I have stuff, I just don't want to go get it. Okay. Make sure that's glued down. And everything seemed to go towards blue for this um, project, which is okay. And I'm thinking... Let's do that way. It's a little piece of scrap lace. Better put a little bit of glue down for this. Sometimes I will just glue my piece on top of the lace and not even glue the lace down. Just because it's so hard to try to glue it down. Okay. This gnome I had printed out already. It's from one of my digital kits. Same with the C, color, C paper and same with this postcard. They're all from different 
digital kit. Um, I don't think I've printed off anything extra for any of these challenges so far. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so there is that. Now I'm going to take this. I think I'm going to use my tiny attacher for this. It's going to go on here. And I want to put this little piece of yellow. Now, the only reason I took this piece of yellow out of there was because it was in my odds and ends container. And I thought, let's use it up because that's what it's all about. Okay, let's. Just gonna put one staple in there. Just gotta find my little pliers here. I am going to push those down. Just just stops things from catching on there. So then we got that little bit on there. We've got this piece of blue. It's I don't know, a foot long or so. And I'm going to somehow squish it all along there. Let's put quite a bit of glue all the way around along here. Hopefully this will work with this glue. And I'm just going to bunch it up. No rhyme or reason. I'm going to use this whole piece somehow, I think. I dyed this seam binding on my own. Okay, let's find. I got this little ruler thing. Get my glue off of the other part. Okay, let's just chop this off. It is a bit long. So I'm going to chop it off there. Let's put a bit of glue right on the end. Now, ideally, I would glue this on and then let it sit for a while. that's on there pretty good and I think I'm just going to put the rest of this use it up I'm going to put it just below put a good chunk of glue along there and let's just put this down that'll be one less Thing in my scrap box. Kind of like that. Let's make sure that's tacked down good. Put one little drop of glue. Right on the end to hold that down. Okay. So there we have that. Now we've got this little bow that's made out of just some kind of string. And let's put it right, cover up this spot right here. Put a nice blob of glue. Stick her down. I should have actually started up my... <clears throat> no glue gun for this. I don't use it often, but it would be good in the video. So there is that. Let's get a... I don't know if these will be big enough. Like long enough to 
go around all this stuff. There we go. Let's just leave that on there while we do an another thing. So we've got this and we've got this. And I am going to glue this right here and I'm going to make a pocket. Now, you know, beaches and gnomes and sea and whatnot don't really go together, but they can. There's no reason why they can't. And then this is kind of one reason why it started turning out to be blue. Because as I was looking, I was finding blue items that I could use for this. So I just glued down the three sides. Being that I'm going to make this into a pocket. Okay. Let's bring in our big chunky journal. This is going to go on top of here. I cut it just to fit just to have the edge so I'm going to glue all this down actually I'm gonna start I'm gonna glue up half of it lay it down and then I'll glue up the other half I always worry about my glue drying before I get it all done lid. Okay, so let's... I got maybe an eighth of an inch along the edge. Right like that. It's harder to glue things into a book when the journal is so lumpy and bumpy, but it can work. Let's turn this around this way. So then all that I do is I just pull up this half, make sure I get down the first bit I do on my actual paper, and then I glue down the rest of this stuff. Like I say, I always think my glue is going to dry too much. And people usually don't seem to have problems with that, but it's just a worry thing that I have. Okay, I'm going to kind of hold the side of the book up so I can... Let's just put that that way. And rub that down. Okay. Turn her around again. And I think that should be on there. Good enough. That's going to go into this pocket. Like that. So here is week 36. Simple, easy project. We have our file folder, our seam binding, our C, which is on this paper. Oops. T cards are going in the pocket just like that. And our gnomes. I think that's pretty cute. I like how. The challenges are coming along. I like how this journal is looking. There is so much in here. But I love it. Hope you're following along. I look forward to see what you're doing for this week's challenge. And if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask. Stop over on the Facebook group. Um, go visit me over on Coffee. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.